Hello everyone, Flying Dutch here, welcome back to Rome. Let's keep playing our World Conquest run. Um, we are trying to save our country since a couple of minutes, I would say. I would say uh, the whole, almost the whole last episode. We are losing uh, way too many loyalty. And it's mostly because we are trying to make them Roman. But, um, well, wait, what is this? National, local unrest, oh, that's also fine. Because uh, they are super unhappy because they are not in our Latin culture group. They are not liking everything. The civilization value is helping. But um, I guess we have to go to local autonomy in these provinces. The last thing I can do in the law is over here. Getting minus one unrest. It's the last thing I can choose. Um, this is a very easy minus unrest omen. I don't want anything else. Now I will take 250 points and we will go for the edict. And yeah. We only want armies that are using our manpower wisely. Which is heavy infantry and elephants. Maybe heavy cavalry. I preferably don't want other armies. I was still waiting here to take care of some of the smaller states. Because we also have a decision to... Wait, do they still have a slave province somewhere? What? Where? Do you guys see any province on the map that is occupied by rebels? Then shout in the comment section because I... Don't see it. I don't see any province occupied by rebels. No. No, no. I don't see it, so I don't know why the decision is still there. Yeah, this is terrible. We need to do something about this. Uh, more stability is not helping, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, we just need to make sure... Well, I'm going to take the stability here. That's for sure. When we have the, po when we have the oratory power, I take the... Uh, minus unrest law here. I need 256. Then the only thing I can do is get local autonomy going in. Yeah, we will hold the games again. But there we go, another minus unrest. Now we have minus four. Yeah, that changes a lot already. As you can see. It's going down really slowly. Oh, th these are guys are going down way too quickly. Yeah. These need to get local autonomy. And we need 31 oratory power for that. Good manpower. Problems with manpower are over, maybe forever. Uh, let's get you local autonomy, please. Well, actually, maybe I should save the ones that are not in this list yet. Like this one. Need to save this one. There is it. Local autonomy. Yeah, you're going up. Good. You're going up, you're going down slightly, and I'm not afraid for these ones, so... I think we are actually fine for now. But if we want to keep conquering, these also need to become... Uh, ...happy. I'm, I'm actually wondering, is there actually something here that reduces the unrest? It would be super powerful. Oh, this is really good for us. Ooh. Ooh. There are a lot of things here that are actually pretty nice and that we can maybe take already because of our extra technology. So let's have a look. Let's get. We need a lot more oratory power game. <laughs> yes, I will accept all your trades. Give me your money.
Who do I want in power next? I guess the religious faction. To get a bit more uh, conversion going on. Especially in the provinces where uh, it's going terrible. Yeah, let's just first go and solve these problems here. Like you need to go local autonomy. Now you're going up like crazy. You need local autonomy. You and you. Or we just stay with a couple of provinces negative. I mean, how many provinces do we have? Can I see that somewhere, game? No, you can't, Duchy. It's really annoying. But yeah, it's not over here, so... Uh, let's see, you need a new guy to help cover the country. Well... You look like a good candidate. There you go. Did that change everything again? Of course it did. And someone else died. The ogre. We have a 12 guy here. And that sounds perfect for me. Yes. So he's doing... Local autonomy where we have low loyalty in the provinces. I am actually fine with that. I will just let him do what he wants then. Sure. Let's get Cartago happy maybe. No, we are going to convert Cartago. They will just stay unhappy. This one will get autonomy so it goes up again. And then I'm fine. We are at 40 so we can go conquering soon. More discipline. I really want those modifiers. They are fantastic. Then I think we go to war again. Macedon is still alive. Where are they? I don't see them. I guess we go to war with those guys. We'll take you. Oh, yeah. <sighs> really? You are... You are liking me. And you're not voting for... What I want to do. Maybe I need to wait for this guy to become... To get in power. the war. I think I'm just going to wait for that. Annexation is almost halfway for some of these uh, smaller countries. Then we have to get Frenatia and maybe some parts here. And then we have everything that is uh, these days Italy. I think this part, this part and maybe this province here. But I, th I know, I think... I think this is France. Can't disband them yet. You need a new general. And a navy. Nope. Three scorned families, so it's not bad at all. And we have 52% Romans, it's looking good. Yeah, we'll just let Cartago and the other one just get disloyal. I'm fine with that. A couple of provinces can get disloyal. We just need to keep converting people to Roman. It's very important. Okay, let's go to war. We had 40 grass expansion. I am fine. I forgot about the tyranny again. Oh, so annoying. Come on. When are you getting in power? In a couple of months. The civic faction. Sure. Or the religious faction. Now let's get the civic faction for now. We lost a Praetor, which is our aggressive expansion guy. 
Uh, you have 10. That is perfect for the aggressive expansion. So let's get the new uh, guy leading my country. So we get rid of the uh, bad one. Go. Means you are now no longer a governor. We have no good governors anymore. There are no good guys at all. Uh, mostly they are doing culture conversion. That's good. Do they want to help me now? What the hell? Really? Why do you not like me to go to war? The whole time they wanted me to go to war. Do I need to get religious faction in power or what? I mean the military faction. Why are you so unhappy now? Do I need to pay for everything first? What the hell, man? The populist faction hates me. And why is that? Is it because he is too popular or what? Is the popularity preventing me to do this? 37 votes. Not changing anything. Oh, what is help? What is changing the Senate Senate's opinion then? Why do you have 41? Forty-one. Where are all the populists coming from? I'm gonna give the military more seats gonna take five tyranny we were out of tyranny anyway now they have 31 I mean come on you will become very displeased if you don't get a yeah but you're 69 so I don't care but you cannot go to war without getting tyranny now That's really stupid. Why are they against me? Why is the whole populist faction against me? Why? You are the leader. Why do you not like me anymore? Do I need to make friends with you? Is that doing something? No. No. Not gonna get tyranny. I don't care. We get the wrong events to make him a friend. Now he will not be your friend, right? Yeah. Ugh. Why is the Senate suddenly against declaring war? I don't understand. I wish I un... Oh! Oh! You can click on the hand. This is the first time I'm seeing this. What... Ruler, at least 80 popularity. Friend of this faction leader. Yes, yeah, so friending, befriending is helping. <gasps> ah, you are only 8.5 because we have... The target has high tyranny. The target has high tyranny. 
Can I see his tyranny? No? Ruler, friend of this faction leader, ruler, friend in faction with at least 80. Ruler is the friend in the faction with at least 80 prominence. You have 100 and you have 60. You can get 50 bit more popularity here. Is that helping already? No. The ruler, friend, friend, infection, with at least 80 prominence. What does that mean? So when we become friends with him, all the problems are solved. That is just the whole thing. We have to get, fr we have to become friends with him, and we can just declare war on everyone. Well, let's try again. Give him some religious power. Alright, I do it for once then. Now we have eight tyranny. We lose popularity. Here we'll make a moderate amount of progress. Lose popularity and a small amount. Let's do a smaller amount. That should be that should do it because we have a big one already. And over here we are gonna do ruler popularity gain. Now, are we friends? Not yet. We have a new ruler, he is the, from the religious faction. I did not even look at it. Oh, because he died, so we couldn't know. Are we friends now or what? Hello? No, because we have a new guy. So now this guy needs to become friends with the... So now everything was for nothing. Oh, my goodness, man. Need to do it again. Because we died. I'm not gonna get even material now, come on. Give me the other events. Come on. Give the other events, yeah. Yes, we will give him a lot of money. And we give him even more money. So now he should like us. That should force his faction to vote with me. When he becomes my friend. As the consul. As the new consul, because the old consul died. There we go, we are now friends. There we go. Yeah, yeah. I now understand how it worked. We are befriended. Perfect. Uh, we do have the religious guy in power. No, we don't. Yes, we do. So, we are going to convert some land. Uh, I guess in Transpadia. It's only this province. We can just solve the whole problem in this province. Um... You are all my, you are all Hellenic and you still super un, not popular because you are just not my religion. In Carthago then, we are going to convert Carthago.
Where's the citizens? Is that actually helping? I don't think it helps a lot. The religion it doesn't uh, make a big difference if they are happy or not. If we get more... Um, yeah, it's only 0.1. Oh, 01, so it's not helping. But uh, we get a bit of uh, more religious unity because of that. So now we can finally go to war. Macedon is gonna join. Maybe. I don't think so. I don't see Macedon. <laughs> I don't see them on the map. Oh, that's the first war. And you. And then this guy. Yeah, you lost your alliance with uh, Phrygia, apparently. So that's really good for us. So waiting to disband you. 200,000 men. Slaves are revolting again. Oh. Really? We will make a new army then. Do I have to do the negotiation to stop this from happening the whole time or what? I don't know. It's really weird for me. You have a good general. Take care of this uh, nation. Where are you going to siege? Are you going to siege that province? Why that one? Uh, loyalty or and lose loyalty? We can make some friends. Let's uh, get the one guy a bit more happy. Come on. Come on. Go. Wait, do this, do this, and go. So he's gonna, he's gonna escape again. He will not negotiate with slaves. No, he won't. Bye. Oh, stack wipe. And I think we can piece you guys out for everything. Zero aggressive expansion, so we can even lower it with this uh, enemy gets no quarter. Over here. Wait, did the Senate doesn't like peace? Oh, yeah, I was like, what the hell? Yeah, you are mine. So these wars actually made the aggressive expansion go down. And you are guy gonna go here. Other thing that I want here. Monthly loyalty sounds like a very fun modifier. Uh, we still can take the next uh, light infantry light infantry offense, but we don't like it. I want the triplex uh, uh, tactic. I've never seen that before, and I'm really curious. But we have a couple of CBs left. Only on this guy and on this part. Phrygia took over everything here and over here. Phrygia is becoming super powerful and we need to stop him. That's for sure. Uh, we will take you down. Will you stay loyal to... Someone that is maybe not even alive. I don't know. We got even more troops that are... Oh my goodness grace. So this is a disloyal character. And um, there is actually...
a character interaction, I think, to make him a mercenary, but I don't see it in this list. I mean, he is my friend. And he's still doing this. <laughs> no. But that's a disloyal army. He's just walking around doing nothing. Yay, we have 80... We have 80 popularity, which is helping a lot. Yeah, the next war is going to be against Phrygia. Let's send everyone over. We need to stop Phrygia. Elephants. You guys. Move to the tip. So he is not a pretender. If it were, if if we had a monarchy, I could just uh, make him a mercenary. Which is pretty funny. Uh, do we need to go until people are getting more loyal? Getting the I'm gonna go one more time for the uh, national unrest uh, modifier. I think it's very important. Yeah, it's going it's going really well. How many Romans? Fifty five percent. Three thousand seven hundred and fifteen people are Roman. Uh, we get so many events now, what is this? So we own them three favors, and this will reduce every favor. So Manius over here, Tribunus Plebis, becomes the Tribunus Militum. Well. Uh, did he now become the new Tribunus Militum? No. <laughs> do I have to change that? I don't know. And why do you give zero? Why do you have zero of this out of nowhere? Wow. This again. And you... Oh my god, we have so many good guys. Nine and an eight and an eight and an eight. Another nine here. I guess I'm gonna give you the discipline then. Well, actually, you should get this position and you should get that one. Yeah, you just stay unhappy. You're 72 years old. Just die already. We you out. We take you, your land. There we go. Can we do the decision? Corinth? No, because we still need the one province of two provinces over here. Yeah, the next war against Phrygia we take this, we take this, and we will get our land over here. That's gonna happen in the next episode. We will start that war. So please like and subscribe and take a look at my membership page. The first link in the description, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.